All you need is one line, and after that one line, it, it forms itself in your mind, and then you just can't stop, and then all of a sudden it's done. So that's kind of what I was feeling. It's just one of those times when you get caught up in the moment. It's almost an accident. I've only been here a year and a half, so I'm kind of starting at the bottom. You know, you come here, and you know nobody, and you just I do what I can to promote myself. And it's, very okay. and it's something that's... I think a lot of it is who you know. And when you don't know anybody, it's hard to get into it. And then a lot of it is probably more upscale kind of galleries with the white walls and the spotlights and it's just not my thing. My stuff, maybe it'll be there one day, but it's not my stuff. Right, okay, art is, is the love of my life. It's like since I was a little kid I picked up a pencil and that was it. Like I was a goner from there. So I did go to school for art even though it would probably get me nothing. And uh, that was it. Like I went, I grew up in the country actually, in the Eastern Times, so I went to Bishop's University. It was a really small school, it was really great. So I went to school for that, and then I went to school for education so I could be an art teacher. And that's what I do now. Uh, no, it's my therapy. I was talking to somebody about this last night, actually. It's, I, I paint what I feel, it's, it's what I do, and there's nothing else behind it. It's my therapy, it's just for me.